Kimmel was warned about bashing Trump but didn't listen, now look what just happened. Another Celebrity Ego Stroking Awards show took place Sunday night and like all other celebrity gatherings to honor each other, they centered the show around bashing President Donald Trump. This is expected in liberal Hollywood since stage presence always seems to present the opportunity to cause political chaos in front of the entire country. However, the hateful host of the evening, Jimmy Kimmel was warned about trashing Trump but he couldn't resist, considering all his material is aimed at making fun of the president. That proved to be a really bad move. For as much as these celebrities hate the president, they sure do like using his name to get attention on themselves and increase their popularity. Late night show host Jimmy Kimmel has made his own show all about his nemesis and his stage time at the Oscars was no different. He should be thanking Trump for giving him someone or something to talk about since it's hard to know what Kimmel's nightly act would consist of otherwise. The supposed funny man isn't laughing now after he couldn't get creative with a new script and refused to be respectful on stage at the Academy Awards about our president. The latest trend among celebrities isn't one that's good for them. No matter how many times proof that trashing President Trump doesn't end well, they just can't seem to help themselves and suffer the consequences each time. Camille is the latest to be bitten by the Trump curse and it couldn't have happened to a more deserving person, especially after his huge admission he made on stage that many people missed. Breitbart reports. The ratings for Sunday night's telecast of the 90th Annual Academy Awards collapsed by a whopping 16%, which it would mean an all-time low, according to early estimates. Variety reports that the 8 p.m. to 11 p.m. portion of ABC's telecast averaged an 18.9 household rating and 32 share in Nielsen's metered market overnight ratings, that's down about 16% from the 22.537 rating generated by the 2017 Oscars. According to Deadline, the 18.9 appears to be an all-time low for the Oscars, below the previous low ratings point for the Oscars logged with the 2008 telecast, 21.9. The ratings will be updated once all the numbers are in, but if past is prologue, those numbers will not change much either way. The writing was on the wall for this ratings catastrophe all year. Almost every other award show suffered massive audience erosion and there was no movie nominated for Best Picture for anyone to root for. Seven of the nine nominees averaged just $47 million at the box office, which means only about 5 million people saw them. Bringing Jimmy Kimmel back for another round as host was also a big mistake. Kimmel is one of the most divisive and polarizing figures in the country, a Trump-hating Democrat who regularly lectures the rest of us about embracing socialized medicine and giving up our guns. With Kimmel as host, the Academy basically told 50% of the country to go watch something else. The entire season of the NFL was at record low ratings, the Super Bowl, as well as the Winter Olympics viewership this year all of which caused by stars abusing their public platforms to bash Trump and deepen the divide in our country. It's a consistent consequence handed down to these elitists by fed-up Americans who aren't putting up with it anymore. Celebrities get paid to act, play, sing or entertain in some way, not push an agenda for one side and discredit our president. They shouldn't benefit from it when they do. Not only did Kimmel kill his act with all the anti-Trump talk, he also slipped and made an admission that could very well destroy what's left of his career, without realizing what he was really saying. His act was bland and boring which many expected, but what made it worse was a joke he made about Vice President Mike Pence. Ben Shapiro for The Daily Wire reports. Noting that many of the nominated films were seen by virtually no one, Kimmel stated, that's not the point. We don't make films like Call Me By Your Name for money. We make them to upset Mike Pence. Call Me By Your Name is a gay seduction story between a 24-year-old and a 17-year-old. When I wrote Primetime Propaganda, the true Hollywood story of how the left took over your TV back in 2011, I interviewed dozens of Hollywood insiders, show creators, writers, producers, and executives. Many of them admitted outright that they purposefully stacked their shows with leftist messages, a few even said that they openly discriminated against conservatives in their business.
but nearly all of them excused such discrimination by claiming that they were responding to the market. They explained that their leftist content is what Americans wanted to watch, and that their ratings were evidence that they weren't just propagandists. Obviously, their excuse is not true since real ratings prove just the opposite. It's not likely that with the facts and the figures that they will change course from their message. We've already seen that they won't and simply don't care if people stop watching, they think it's fun to laugh among themselves that they pissed off Mike Pence with their movie or comments. The purpose of what they're saying and what they're trying to do with their divisive message is clearly more important to them than anything, anything.